What up, bitches? It's a misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. This is gonna be a response video to Mike Seatown from Dead End Hip Hop. Um, he did a solo video on his channel um, called uh, Do I Listen to Too Much White Music? And um, I told him I was gonna do a response video to this. Um, this is actually a subject that I've kind of, you know, I've kind of scattered out there in several videos. I've, I've, I've referenced this several times, and um, I'm glad that my brother Mike C. Town went into this. And um, I'm just gonna expound on it a little bit. I mean, I mean, I may reiterate some of the same shit because I feel the same way, but fuck it. Um, Mike C. Town, go check it out. Go check out that video. Fucking great video. I think he covered a lot of points, a lot of shit that I believe. But, um, you know, I, I, I can't stand a lot of you motherfuckers out there that run around and say music is black or is white. I can't stand y'all with a fucking passion. I fucking hate you. Reason being is because, you know, growing up, I've always been into music. I've always loved music. Um, I thought it was a great outlet of expression. You know, it, it it speaks to you. Music is one of those things that can speak to you. It can bring you back to certain events in your life, certain times in your life. I think it's very special. Um, and I hold it close to my heart. Um, amongst a few other things but you know at growing up you know you had the MTV era you had a bunch of fucking great shows on MTV BET music videos uh, I would just leave the fucking TV on and just listen absorb everything that was uh, coming through the, the as sound waves you know because I didn't necessarily have to be in the room paying attention I could just hear it but you know MTV and BET, a lot of it was visual because, you know, you want to look at the music videos and stuff. And uh, growing up, you know, I, I, I loved, I mean, obviously, hip hop is my shit. But a lot of me is, you know, delved, a lot of me delved into punk rock, alternative, metal. Um, I just gravitated toward music, period. And to this day, it's still the same. Look, I'm, I'm rocking a Slipknot shirt. I mean, you know, um, but growing up, I got a lot of criticism. And uh, Mike Seatown uh, talked about this, how 90% uh, of it were, were, from, were from other black people. Now, um, I have to agree with that, you know, but me growing up here in the Northeast, uh, it's, it's a, lot, a lot of it is mixed. So I got it from... Um, a lot of white people too as well that you know oh um wow you know you you you're, you listen to that you know um or or you're you're not you're not uh you're not really black because you listen to that and um black people are the, are the biggest biggest perpetuators of this i'm sorry i gotta say it, it's true but you know i got it from white whites too as well not as much as black people but i got it from whites and i think that's the dumbest fucking thing you know especially coming from you niggas out there because to me it's like music is this thing that when i listen to it when i'm watching a music video it, it's something that's supposed to be harmonious you know, something that, you know, you go to concerts, you see different people, you go into a CD store, you vibe with a person when you're in the, the, the aisle and you and someone asks you, well, I mean, this is kind of a dead, a dead part of the um, of 
this phenomenon music when you go into a CD store and you actually sit down and talk with uh, <clears throat> someone that runs the CD store or someone you might just run into and see frequently. You know, you talk to them, vibe out, get into other artists and shit, regardless of their race, regardless of whatever their fucking background is, you just love what they're conveying to you. And um, I think it's sad that in in this far year of 2016 that people are still on that shit. Oh, that's that's white music. I, I can't get down with that. And I think that, you know, for a race that's supposed to be so, well, uh, it, it, we tout that, oh, we just want unity and this and that. You know, you do get a lot of these niggas that are hypocritical because they'll say they want unity but at the same time this is one of many avenues that they'll use to segregate themselves they'll say well yeah you know because i, I listen to for example slipknot they'll say well oh that that's white music why why are you listening to that you know i'll listen to uh green day or 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 the offspring or or the exploited or whatever the fuck I listen to that because I like the music. What well, what the fuck don't you fucking understand? You know? Yeah, I could I could listen to uh KRS one or 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 Big Daddy Kane or Logic. Yeah, but on the back of that, yeah, I'll turn around and I'll pop in um a uh a fucking Beatles album if I want. What the fuck? I'll pop in the Ramones, I'll pop in fucking Candiria, you know? Uh, what the fuck? I mean I, I never really I never really looked at music as something that should be hindered to, to you, it should just be in a box, you know? Oh, we have our music, you can't get in on this. I mean, to me, that's the dumbest fucking shit ever. I mean, and, and again, it's so funny because, like I said, music speaks to me and it tells me certain things even beyond the lyrics and from, from how it makes a lot of you people react, it's no wonder society is is going in the direction that it's in. I mean, you know, all this separatism is fucking stupid to me. I do believe in 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 cultural separatism as far as society. I do believe in that. You know, in order for certain uh, norms or certain pillars of culture to be intact. But as far as um, um, economic see i'm going into a social aspect of this fuck i didn't want to go there but it kind of leads into that shit i'm not gonna go into that you already know how i feel about that shit but yeah um yeah so go tell fucking go tell fucking lejean witherspoon of fucking seven dust well you shouldn't really be uh the front man of that group because you're black even though he's made timeless music with that group. Shout out to Seven Dust. Go tell fucking Vernon Reed. Well, go tell Living Color. Oh, well, how can you make that music? You're black. Go tell uh, fucking Bad Brains. How can you make that music? You're black. Go tell Whole Wheat Bread. How can you make that music? You're fucking black. Go tell fucking, uh, uh, um, what's my man from, uh, he's not a Kill Switch Engage anymore. Howard Jones. Go tell him from uh, Kill Switch Engage. Well, you shouldn't do that. You're black. I mean, it's just the fucking dumbest thing I've heard. And, I, you know, some people come up to me that, uh, you know, I I'm close with. And they'll they'll say that in jest, but it kind of fucking pisses me off. And, uh, you know, it, it really offends me when people really have this archaic way of thinking. And, um, listen, I'm black and I'm proud to say that, look... Yeah, I love hip hop. Uh, look at my channel. Look at what I, I talk about 90, 95% of the time. But I also love metal. I'm not ashamed to say it. And I don't give a fuck what y'all think. I love metal. I love punk rock. I love um, 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 hardcore, especially New York City hardcore. Um, shout out to Hate Breed, by the way. Um, their new album, fucking crazy, as usual. Um, <clears throat> I love. Um, pop punk I, I love a lot of shit I love a lot of shit so don't try to box me in because I'm fucking black hey, I just want to backhand anybody that fucking tells me that shit I want to pimp smack the shit out of you hoes alright 
And I'm gonna leave it at that because I feel myself getting really, really fucking pissed off right now. And I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna go there. I'm fucking tired. And um, yeah, shout out to Mike Seatown for um, bringing this subject up. I eventually was gonna get to it, but you got to it first, brother. Um, great video. Shout out to my brothers at Dead End Hip Hop. And um, that's it. Y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, all right? Um, that's it. Peace, bitches.